Hey, it's Steve. Welcome back to Clear Direct. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I am building a Rans S21 outbound bush plane in my garage here in Oregon. I'm super excited. I'm flying my Bonanza to Oshkosh. So let's link up. Flying to Montana on Sunday afternoon evening, Hardin, big county airfield, 00 uniform. And then on to Oshkosh on Monday morning, get there about midday central time. Hopefully there's enough camping spots left at that point. It's first come, first serve. So save me a campground. But let's link up. Follow me on Instagram. That's gonna be the best way to kind of keep up with well, the shenanigans that I'm up to and to, and to link up. So comment here, subscribe if you haven't, give me a thumbs up, I sure appreciate that. It helps the algorithm. I didn't think I'd say that or know that word or care about that word, but it's just kind of a fun challenge for me. Oshkosh, so I'm so excited about that. Okay, this episode, um, there's two versions as always. There's a long form episode and a short form episode. And then this <laughs> part one of this wing series is gonna go pretty darn long on the long form. But there's a lot of good detail in here, if I do say so myself, a lot of mistakes. So make sure and watch the whole video to figure out what the mistakes were so I can address them and that you don't make those same mistakes uh, as I do. But anyway, that's enough of the admin. Without further ado, Jim, hold the tape. have wing spars on the table. No, I'm not building both wings at once, but I am doing the optional landing light. Quick impromptu unboxing of aero LEDs. Now let's go to three eighths. I hope that's right. Made of wood, real sturdy. Yeah. Ho! Oh! So we got the truss, we got the ribs for her pleasure, and dad jokes all day long. Too easy. I was right there. Good job. Okay, I've got 13 millimeters and half inch. So roughly about the same. All right, we got a mess of ribs. All right, fluting these ribs kind of blows. F it. All right, we've got the aileron bell crank here as well as the flat belt crank, so we're pressing in these nice bearings. Here we go. Just like that. Great. We are done. All right, finally a non-rainy day, and we're tidying up the primer areas. Tried to figure out where stainless steel rivets go through all the ribs and the spar. Clicoing the ribs to the forward spar. It's funny now that people can see kind of an airfoil um, over at the restaurant. Uh, I've got my first <laughs> couple looky loos coming in. So, um, but yeah, now it's starting to look like a wing. These guys put it together in no time. Clicoed the, the forward spar. And just like that, we have a rear spar. Killing it, you guys. Pretty good. If it's not perfect, we can still rotate it. Good job. Nice, bro. Kellen's gonna build the flat belt crate. All right, we are using washers 
It's a space. They give you a choice of thick and thin washers. Two thicks. That's pretty good for me. I actually put in a thin one as well. But then once you sight it down, um, it had a, just a hair of a bow to it. So I took a thin washer out. We are about to rivet this frame together. Ribs to spars. And there's three things that uh, I'm reminded of. Number one is you don't want to rivet anything on the middle row because that's where the gap seals are going to go. So I've rearranged Clicos to put two Clicos on each of those holes. Um, well, where there's a, an attached angle, you don't want to get the top one because that's a gap seal hole as well. So just rivet the bottom one and avoid the middle of the three on each of the ribs. Number two, Rib number seven, that's one I'm gonna start with. You'll notice it's not the rear uh, spar is not clicoed, and that's so that you can get in this area a little bit easier because you've got the wing tie down piece to, um, to attach right there. 2.1 is the fact that those use different longer rivets because of that piece. All right, number three, do not, do not, do not rivet the root rib, rib number one in place right now, because you've got a lot of work to do with the fuel tank. So that remains Clicoed. Yes, I realize this looks completely horrible, but I mean, look at that. It, it, it's, it's unfloatable, but it'll be fine. Turned out pretty good. What do you think is next? I see some bell cranks just sitting in the middle of the table. What do you think? What do you say? We... In the yeah, let's bolt those babies in. All right, I got all the hardware I need, and now I just need a pair of helping hands because you need to lock tight both those bolts and put them in. Black sand shims, easily lost. Now I'm just sliding in a 316 thin washer. Next is the aileron cable. And now here's the flaps. Flap. Teleflex. Okay. Two hands. It looks like it's symmetrical. This is how it works. You can see that. It looks, it fits like a glove, actually, once you figure it out. It's just that little, little gap right there. And then make sure you safety wire it. This was kind of cool. The old kit or the old instructions said that you had to drill out these grommet holes, but uh, they came pre-drilled at the right size. Yeah. Okay, through here, this, I, I had no idea what I was doing. I don't know wiring super well. So in this period, rather than videotaping, I was doing a lot of research and just studying and I didn't feel good about this, but I feel good now. Um, spoiler alert, part two, I'll talk a lot more about the wiring and the plumbing for the pedo tube with AOA. We've got the top wing clamped to the table for the edge forming tool. This is not going to be fun. Here we are match drilling the top skin to the leading edge spar. Definitely didn't do too much. I'm just wondering how much more we should go. Here you go.
There you go. Good. Oh, the first rivet in the wing. Almost done riveting the wings. I haven't filmed in a few days. I haven't been working. I had to fly to um, Fresno for a good buddy of mine's funeral. He unfortunately passed away in an RV6A crash. He just bought it a month prior and I don't know many of the details and I don't feel comfortable talking about that quite yet, but full military funeral, so it was a, a tough one. That's why I'm wearing the Aloha shirt today. Uh, I'm thinking about him, but anyway, I've made a lot of progress today on riveting the wings. And just when you think you're getting close to being done with the top skin, you have to match drill the skin into the trailing edge spar. So that's what I'm doing here. Hey Siri, turn the garage outlet off. Okay, the hot water circulation pump is off. Got the gap seals match drilled. Always be deburring. New jet, new day. No adjustment of the gap seals needed. Yep, we flipped the wing and I think it's a logical place to wrap this video up. I'll make it a two part series. This is probably a pretty long part one. I think part two will go a little bit quicker. So I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting. I love all your guys' um, comments. I reply to 90 to 95% of your comments. So keep them coming, keep the encouragement coming. It's been an awesome build. I realize there's some frustration that, that bubbles up but I'm just being me and there is some frustration. But more often than not, I really wanna reiterate what an awesome project this is, what a great kit this is, and what a great time in my life to be, to be doing this. So all positive. Love each and every one of you guys for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, oh by the way. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Till then, you're clear to wreck. <laughs>